Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to set up this Synology DS120J to be RAID 1. This is a single disc NAS. We'll be right back. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're going to show you how to set up the Synology DS120J to be two disc RAID system. And we're going to do an unboxing of this, setting this up, and you're, going to, you're wondering, like, Joe, how can you do RAID 1 or even RAID 0 with a single disc RAID NAS? So we're going to show you how to do that. It's, it only does one drive, but we're going to put two drives in it. And you're going to, how is that possible? I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's do an unboxing of this. I got a cool piece of technology that's going to blow you, blow, blow you away. So you could save some money, which is what I'm doing, is that I need a, I want to set up my, I want to, this Synology is going to be a Plex server. I need something to be on all the time where I don't have to worry about shutting it down. I need to be low power, so it's low usage. And I want it on all the time. I don't want to have to worry about turning on my other NAS that has mechanical drives in it. I don't want to have to worry about that. So this is going to be dedicated to be my Plex server. For I mean, it's a little weak in terms of horsepower, but I'm not uh, I'm not streaming 4K. So it may be a little crazy for that. So let's do the unboxing of this, and I'll show you what we're going to do here. We'll move this out of frame. So let's do an unboxing. So we have a power supply here, universal. Let's see, this thing slides on. So we have a little power brick here. And this is, if I can read it, 12 volts at, holy crap, can't make this any smaller. It looks like one amp, but that doesn't seem right. But 120 watts maybe, who knows. We have an Ethernet cable that comes with it. How long is this? Just under six feet. Looks like five feet Ethernet cable. The screws for the hard drive, it looks like. And the NAS itself. Remember, this is diskless, so it does not have any drives in it whatsoever. It's just an empty chassis. And we're going to be doing two reviews here at the same time. So this is the drive. And the screws are actually out of this, so this slides off. So this is the whole the whole thing. Nothing to it. I'll have close-up pictures of this. This is nice that it actually comes apart for you. Comes with the screws to put it back together again. And this is relatively simple. This is set up to fit a three and a half inch drive, but we're gonna really put in a two and a half inch drive. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. This is the part that's gonna blow your mind. How how are we gonna set this up as raid? Alright, we have two. M.2 M and B key drives. This is not M.2 PCI Express drives, okay? These are one terabyte each. Silicon, um, sil silicon power, SP uh, drives. These are one terabyte of each. And we're going to stick it in this cool device, which is what the other review is about. This is a two and a half inch drive that supports two of these drives together. And this is going to be plugged into the into the NAS. So this can do either RAID 1 or RAID 0, hardware RAID. I'll have a link in the description below to purchase this and this and the two drives. I'm doing RAID 0, okay? So I'm not really too concerned about... I'm not really too concerned about mirroring at this point because I really it's not really about the speed either I need, really need the space so I'm trying to make this a low cost two terabyte NAS but I need the space and the throughput capability so two, two one terabytes because the, the amount of stuff I have is a little bit more than one terabyte of, of video files for the Plex server and I want to set up a little bit more space to, to have it and uh, it's really not about the performance of speed because you're limited to your gigabit network. So this will get plugged into here, like so, like that. And this will support RAID. 
So you have a single disc RAID array, which is crazy because we're using a special device to see the drives. So this is the best part. So this device here that supports, I'll have a link in the description below, so supports uh, uh, down to 2230, all the way up to 2280 size drives. So we're going to stick these two bad boys in here, plug it in, and then we have a RAID in a single drive solution. So we, on this device, on this two and a half inch drive that supports uh, M.2 type drives, we've shorted pins three and four to make it RAID zero, striping. So this is acting as a two terabyte drive, but it's in a RAID configuration. All right, so if you want to do mirroring, you can say, say you wanted two terabytes and want it mirrored, and you wanted a single disk array, a single disk system, so this is really cool. So think about this for a second to, uh, in a different aspect. Um, is that you can have, say you have a two disc NAS. You could mirror this, RAID 1, have another one, RAID 1. Then you could do a RAID 0 on the NAS. Oh, how cool is that? Or you could do RAID 1 with that. So you have a RAID 1, a RAID 1, and a RAID 1. That's sick. <laughs> Talk about redundancy. That's nutty, nutty, nutty. So redundancy here, redundancy on the other disc, and then you have the redundancy between the two with each other. That's like super sick. But now you have the ab ability to do that. So if you wanted storage space, you could set up a whole bunch of these. RAID 1 on these drives, set these up as, or even whatever you want. You could set this up as, as I mean, it's just such a cool thing to do. To the whole purpose of it is making a single di disc into a dual disc RAID. That's the whole point of this video. That you can now you can do it at, at a lower cost, you know. And then you still have the you still have the somewhat performance and redundancy. So if you had two terabytes in here, make it RAID one. RAID one would be shorting uh, pins one and two. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So the f uh, if you're looking at if you're looking at it from the back end like this at the connector, it would be one, two on the left, three, four in the middle, five, six on the right. So if you got this and if you lost the instructions I just showed you. So um, one, two is RAID one, three, four is RAID zero, span, big drive, so it'll start filling up the drive as it goes. That's all pins connected, one, two, three, and four, and no connection is just a bunch of disks. All right. So Let's go install this and set this thing up. All right, so this is the setup here. It is really simple. Shows you how much CPU uh, processing power you're using, how much memory you're using, the total throughput, the IP address, how long it's been up for. I did restart it. It's only up for 2 hours and 17 minutes. Um... I named it the Plex server because it's specifically for the Plex. Um, there is a quite a bit of packages you can install on this machine. This does have the Plex server installed already. We could search for it. Open. Doesn't say install. So asking me to sign in, and all up my stuff is here. Actually, yeah, these are mine. I don't have a lot of stuff on this. I just started moving some stuff over. We have other videos. We have TV shows. No, they're all empty. But yeah, so this is all mine. So I'm starting to fill it up with stuff, with videos. Um... It's a really great tool. So let's go back to this. So this is the control panel. Shared folders, file services, user groups, domain. I want to go into this whole thing. This is a very, could be a very powerful um, device. But no one really has a single disk solution. No one's going to have a domain and using a, a single disk solution for their, you know, for their environment. At, at the office, you're going to be using some sort of a, you know, something a little bit more beefy. 
uh, like a 418 or a 923 plus for a Sonology, which I have both of. So anyway, um, you can set up folders. I set up movies, photos, TV shows, um, other files. Um, you have uh, users and user groups, uh, file services if you need to use, if you want to set up, if you have a work group or whatever. Uh, it's actually a really cool thing. I recommend it 100%, especially Plex devices that are supporting by Plex because, you know, you have all your media in one location. Uh, I don't want, I'm not going into detail of everything here. It is um, a very useful device. So let me go into the storage manager and you can clearly see that I am using two terabytes of space. I'm using one terabyte of it right now. So this is working to my benefit. It's actually really good. I, I'm very impressed with it, especially the ability to do RAID. So as you saw, I have two one terabyte drives and it's clearly set up as RAID zero and it's working really well. I'm very impressed. So I, I recommend if you're looking for a single disk solution and this is what you want to do, this is a, a great option to be able to set up, you know, RAID in a single disk solution. So um, I got not much more to say about it. I'm just very impressed with it and how it's working and how, how well it's, you know, working out. I, I just, it's really great, especially having... Uh, I mean, you could simply just stick a solid state, single solid state drive in there and you'd be done with it. But it seems like this is more exciting. You'll be able to set up a RAID in a single disk solution. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and we'll see you next time.